Well, greetings and salutations, guys and girls. It's the off-grid warrior. Yes, I know it's been a bunch of time since I put out a video. Thank you everybody for emailing me <laughs> almost daily, reaching out and asking me if I'm okay and what's going on and when's the next video. Guys, a lot has happened since uh, the last video. I uh, moved to a new state, a new job, and quite frankly, life's just sort of grabbed me and I've had to, uh, you know, dot all my I's and cross all my T's. So not much time in the woods. This is actually the first weekend out, believe it or not. Uh, since winter, um, we're out in the woods doing, doing what I love. Let's just say I'm in the far northern reaches of Montana. And I could literally throw a stone and hit Canada right over there. Hit, hit a Canadian. Not that I'd want to do that, guys. <laughs> Maybe Justin Trudeau. Just kidding. Um, but anyways, today I'm going to talk about a product I've had my hands on for some time. I've used this uh, device in all kinds of scenarios. It's a way to charge your equipment, guys. And no, it's not a giant solar generator or another battery. It's a water turbine. I know, you heard that right. A water turbine. This is something you can throw into a running creek. As long as you have running water, stream, creek, river, uh, waterfall, um, you're going to be able to generate power. And this is a cool device to have, guys, if you're stabbing out into the woods a little further, some extended camping, and you have all your gear. I know nowadays we end up carrying all these electronic devices, which I don't do all the time. Not a big fan of taking the modern world with me when I head out in the woods. But I do find myself now with a GoPro, um, GPS, sometimes my phone, and then of course uh, I now have a drone. So that, that's a power hog. Need to charge that every now and then. So this device, this water turbine, will uh, charge all that type of equipment. Now it's made by a company called Water Lily in Canada. And um, today I'm going to give you a conclusion on what I think about the Water Lily water turbine. I've actually got a bunch of footage I've taken over the se past several months of me using the Water Lily. And uh, so I'll throw that into this video and we'll take a look at that too. So uh, let's do this. Guys, um, hopefully you can see this. I've never uh, said that I'm a great camera guy, but there we go. All right, so essentially this is the box that uh, it arrived in. I, I just stuffed the entire box as, as it was shipped to me in my backpack. So we're looking at the wind, uh, the water turbine. And uh, let me tell you, guys, this is uh, pretty solid. It is, uh, it definitely has some weight to it. I will drop all these specs into the video. Um, man, it feels pretty solid. It's got some weight to it. It is well made, guys. We've got these little connectors over here that we'll use to, um, you know, tie to when we throw it in the water. Some nice little, what looks like stainless cables. And um, the cord, I'm not sure how long the cord is, but it is, uh, feels pretty good. Good quality. There is a fuse on it. Let's see what, I don't want to pull that out right now. My fingers are actually a little bit numb too. Oh, a three, I see a three um, amp fuse on that. So that's what it is. You can see the fitting on the end over here. That's what we're looking at. Okay, so I got uh, received this with the uh, 12 volt uh, connector. You can order a 12 volt connect, uh, sorry, a USB connector. I'm not sure what that looks like, um, but this seems to make a little more sense to me. Um, you know, I'm just going to use this little uh, USB device that I typically have in my vehicle. It allows me to, I'll just pop that in there and we can charge USB devices. So. Anyways, this is what I received from Water Lily. What you're looking at the box over here. There's some rope over here and a uh, little carabiner to connect to the cables and get this in the water. Okay, so, um, you know, we're doing this together. We're learning together, folks. Um, I, like I said, I haven't read any instructions. And uh, so I'm just winging it as I think it should be set up. I could be way wrong, but hey. We'll find out together. Right now I'm just doing the good old bowline or bowline onto this carabiner over here. And I'm, I'm assuming 
just assuming that uh, this carabiner is for use to hook up over here get nice and close there so you guys can see this I'm assuming something like this happens Um, probably, probably a, oh, that's okay. So we've got things like that. Okay. And then we've got the cord over here. Uh, the temperature today is uh, around about 27 maybe 30 degrees um, my fingers are feeling a little cold and numb but we'll work with that not a big deal I don't think I'll be losing any digits today okay what can you do for me water lily what can you do let's go uno Dos, three. Ha. Okay, not a good flow there, guys. But what are we producing? Hmm, seven volts. I don't like it. Let's get more. Let's do this. I believe we're making power. Well guys, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, that's been in the water for the last half an hour and it's been pushing out a constant 14.20 volts all day. Well, not quite all day long, but I'm sure it could do that all day long. So, uh, you know, 14 volts is going to be enough to charge most of your camping items when you're out in the woods or off-grid camping or long-term camping or living out in the woods. Uh, 14 volts is going to be ample to keep uh, items charged through a day, providing you're next to a creek, obviously. Well guys, I think we found the perfect little spot to um, talk about the water lily and uh, there's a couple places here I can throw it in. Uh, the faster the water flows, the uh, more juice we get out of this bad boy. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't really want to take my boots off. That's a great spot to uh, throw it in there. Right over there. But um, call me lazy and tired. I don't feel like taking my boots off to get there. So... We'll probably do it from this side and see what we can do. Guess what? I'll just do it, you know. I mean, I figured let's not do, let's not do a half-assed job on this, right? Let's just cross this here creek, not a big deal. And uh, I don't want to hear any comments about my lily white feet, all right? They don't get to see much sun. Okay, there you go. Okay, so 
We've got the water lily set up and I have a meter on it. Now with a few tweaks I could probably get the um, water flow through there um, at optimal. It's not optimal right now, you can see where the turban is, it's getting sort of multiple flows into it, probably not the best, probably a lot of air right there as well. So if I made a few adjustments, moved this over, we could probably get some more juice out of it. Let's try. Okay, let's see, uh, I feel like we got it in a better spot. Let's see what we're getting now. There we go. 14.29. So with just a, a few tweaks, um, looking at the water flow, you can get into uh, an optimal position to get as much juice out of the flow as you can. Okay guys, so there you have it, the water lily simply doing its thing unattended and that's what I like about the water lily. It's just, uh, you know, throw it in the water and it's busy working. Right, so here are a few thoughts, uh, closing thoughts on, on the water lily and I'll start with probably the, uh, a negative, it's not really a negative, it's more like a personal preference and that is uh, most of the camping that I do or hiking out here is with a backpack and I'm heading through some rough woods and usually trying to get up a mountain. I do a lot of mileage underfoot. Um, so is the water lily something I'm going to be putting in my backpack? Probably not. Um, unless I'm heading out to an area that I know I'm going to be for a few days. I know there's running water and I want to set up base camp and perhaps explore out from the base camp. Yeah, the water lily may find its way into my backpack then. Where the water lily probably shines more is um, for that car camping or tent camping or multiple days in one location um, where you're needing to charge devices. That water lily can quite easily charge a 12 volt battery all day long. When you get back to camp in the evening, you could be running lights and all sorts of devices off that battery. You leave the next day, you just hook up the water lily to that battery and again you're charging that battery all day long. Nice and quietly, unattended, life is good. Um, expedition style camping, setting up a base camp, um, overlanding, is this something I want? Absolutely. Is it something I think every outdoorsman or a survival minded person should have in their toolkit? Absolutely. There's really three areas that you want to be covered with um, for long term as far as generating power goes out in the woods. Uh, wind, water and solar power, right? Or sunlight. So here's the awesome thing about the water lily guys that I've left for last. That water lily wind turbine, uh, <laughs> I just gave it away. <laughs> the water lily water turbine is not only a water turbine, whew, that's a mouthful, but it's also a wind generator. Now you have to buy an accessory kit that um, allows you to turn that water turbine into a wind generator and that's basically a bunch of fans that connects um, to the water turbine and it looks like a windmill and you set it up on a tripod and it'll generate power using the wind. Now guys the good thing is I actually have that accessory kit. It's sitting in the box. I haven't even opened the box yet but I'll drop in a link so that you guys can see more or less what that looks like. And as soon as I can, when the right uh, day comes along and I'm not working, um, I'll be able to get a review out on that. And I'm looking forward to doing that. Now we have one device which is covering you in two of those three uh, uh, scenarios, right? That's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Any questions, drop it there too. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hear what you guys have to say about the water lily and what you think. So. Uh, thanks again for all of those uh, that have um, hung out with me for many years now. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for sticking it through with me. 
and uh, hopefully I'll be getting some uh, more stuff out here soon now that life is starting to stabilize so uh, that's it guys thanks a lot take it easy cheers